hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm coming at you with some essentials that i brought with me to europe this past summer um so as most of you guys know i my family and i went on a two week a little bit over two week trip to europe across europe and i did a video before i left um on like my european essentials and what i'm packing all that stuff but i want to tell you guys what i use the most my essentials and then like what i recommend you guys use um, my european trip was so much fun um there's some things i wish i brought some things i probably didn't necessarily need but i'm going to share with you guys some of my top favorite things i definitely recommend you bring um so yeah let's get into the video all right so none of this is in any particular order um like from favorite wise or anything this is like completely random i have like a whole list on my phone and then i do have a few things um with me here that i'll show you um if i don't have it with me in person um i will like show you a picture or something of it um so that first starts off with packing cubes i don't have my packing cubes packing cubes because they're actually packed away in my suitcase which is in our guest room you guys know what packing cubes are i have heard a rate i have heard a huge rave over packing cubes for years and i was like i don't need packing cubes i can just roll my clothes up and do it which works but packing cubes it just allows you to be so versatile and you can put jeans in this this packing cube and get shirts in this packing cube or if maybe something doesn't fit properly you can open a packing cube um like maybe if your bag is busting out it seams or something you can just like literally open it a little bit and stuff it in the packing cube and like close it and it'll it'll be good like it'll fit it's, it's like the weirdest thing ever um but packing cubes literally change the game like travel wise for me um i'm already pretty much of a minimal packer anyway um but going to europe for so many weeks um for so many days it just it, it just made sense and then like everything's there you're not like digging through your bag which i mean well digging through your bag as much i will say that because i just feel like when you go on a trip especially for a long trip i mean digging through your bag and like things getting a little crazy it's just like bound to happen but having packing cubes just made it so much more organized and it just wasn't as much of a disaster as it was before everything i mentioned here will be linked down below i do finally have an amazon storefront so you guys can shop um in my travel section on my amazon storefront which will be linked down below um next is very important a converter i do have this with me so this is the converter that i've purchased on amazon and again it'll be linked in my storefront um this is a universal converter i only need the one for eu because we only went to the eu countries um but all you do is like this big like square box thing if you need to plug it into the wall they you turn it on this side and push it out you like hit this button and then you push it out and that you will not survive you will not survive technology wise if you do not have this i'm just gonna let you know if you're from the u.s and you don't have one of these there's just no way around it um there may be some usb plug-in things around you know but like if you want to be comfortable and like chill like when you're chilling and you just like want to play on your phone or whatever i mean your your technology technology is going to die eventually inverter very important um another technology thing is a portable charger um saved my life because we were out all day obviously we can't i'm not gonna bring this thing around with me um oh also this has these little usb things on there as well um i'm not gonna bring this around with me in my bag i don't want to do that so um i brought like a little char uh, portable charger um that i always bring with me on trips anyway um lifesaver as well and then if someone else doesn't have their like their phone charged for whatever reason um if you're like me who never charges their phone and always phone is always dead at the worst time um you can you know give them a little juice so next thing I thought was in, that I used quite often was a hair clip. It's hot. And I just, I didn't wear my hair down a whole lot. So I would literally just pull my hair back like this, make it smooth, whatever. And then just clip it up. Like use this, this exact one. I had another one as well and clipped it up. Just keeps your hair out your face um and then like now i'm like into this look like i always wear this so i like to bring a hair clip or a hair tie i think a hair clips better if you're um especially if your hair is not used to like being up as much um like in a hair tie they can kind of ruin your hair um i don't know if this would but i felt like my hair didn't take as much of a beating as i thought it was because i had this um and yeah so 
hair clip and it fits into your bag pretty easily um speaking of bag i have like this um really nice crossbody bag crossbody bags crossbody bags guys i'm gonna say it again crossbody bags europe is known for pickpocketers and it is so easy <laughs> in a crowd to get your shit stolen so i would recommend getting a crossbody bag um so i had a really cute one that i got off of shan i think um and it just like you know went over there and it had like this little pouch up here that i can put like my credit card just like really close to me and then like non-important things i would just put on the side um and yeah crossbody bags and like i was saying this this fit into it pretty well um next cash cash okay so i don't know if it's i think americans are just so go 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 with things and they we kind of like like things to be more convenient so like having a car being able to pay with your card is just like normal like we don't really use cash as much as americans europeans do um at least where i i went um i was just so sh culture shocked by the fact that they like to use cash like it's just like the weirdest thing so uh, more times than not um if it wasn't like a department store or something if it was like something on the side of the street or like us taking a taxi um which i would they definitely took car but it was just like more of a hassle um a lot of a lot of the time so i would recommend getting cash when you get there go to um like convert it um obviously find like the best deals um com like conversion wise because you do have to pay like a little fee um it's not like crazy but um yeah definitely recommend cash we kind of learned that or like towards the end of the trip we were like dang we definitely should have gotten cash but like our american minds were like we're just gonna use our card um and then like with our using your card um you have to like pay like a little bit of a conversion fee as well for each transaction um so yeah comfy shoes so um i brought like a nice pair of tennis shoes i think i only brought like three pairs of shoes to go with me all the way um all the way that like help i only brought three pairs of shoes with me the entire trip i'm pretty sure i only bought three pair i don't know i have to go back on my video but the shoes that i wore the most that i felt that were comfy and i think uh you're, you're definitely going to be not i think i know you'll be walking around a lot so it's important to like know what shoes are most comfortable comfortable for you so if it's tennis shoes if it's like a really nice pair of sandals i thought i would be wearing tennis shoes the whole time but i personally like like sandals so the ones that i got were these i literally wore these everywhere and my feet were fine i mean it depends on who you are um i got these off of shin i believe and they they carried me they carried me I'm just gonna let you know they carried me um because they went with all my outfits that i was wearing um i just felt like tennis shoes is more of like a casual thing if tennis shoes work for you that's completely fine but a lot of people are like you're gonna be doing so much walking you need to wear tennis shoes um i, I think it just kind of like depends on the person so sandals worked for me not saying it could work for everybody i can understand how it can't work for everybody um, um travel size things so everything you use on a daily basis and i feel like this is probably common sense but i'm just going to put this out into the universe anyways but little travel size things shampoos conditioners lotions deodorants all of that stuff travel size it's going to take up so much of your your space in your travel bag like little things you know um you can always go and if you're staying for a long period of time you can always go and just buy um like extra little doodads if you want to if you run out of it just so happen to run out of it more than likely you're probably not going to but it's not a big deal if you just go buy a little bit more you know and then more than more more times than not the hotels that you stay at are going to have extra little things um for you like lotion razors stuff like that or like if you're traveling with your family like i don't know what kind of family y'all have but my family will let me use whatever they got so um yeah so travel size things is a must um and then i know a lot of people including myself we buy like these little cutesy like travel sized um like containers that you can put like squeeze your stuff into which is fine but honestly i just feel like it's a waste of money and i ended up like not really using it um i just you can just buy these and just take these you don't have to buy like spend the money and like purchase an extra thing um but that's completely up to you up to you i i did it too so i wanted to be cute um sunglasses 
uh, more of a fashion statement for me but it, it is hot it's very hot over there so these are one of my go-to sunglasses that I used it was a, a definitely an essential for me every day I uh, put my contacts and I didn't wear my glasses so sunglasses were um, big hit for me um what was I gonna say? sunscreen um so this is the mini sunscreen that I got I've always used this this is banana boat ultra um it has 30 30 SPF in there um I've literally used this my whole life not this one in particular but I've always used like a sunscreen like this oh, it reminds me of summer camp um so yes SPF sunscreen a must and then um just kind of go inside with good skincare. This, this was on my list. Having good skincare um, is a must. And also having sunscreen for your face is a must. This is the Tula's um, sunscreen here. This is what it looks like. I did a whole skincare routine of uh, my skincare routine when I was in Brussels, Belgium. So I'll, I'll include that when I like the whole skincare that I used. Um, but this has UVA and UV, UVB protection. So. I use that for sunscreen on my face and let me tell you having good skincare when you're out of your typical environment is is so helpful my skin my skin survived the sun next is a sanitizer bottle i don't have my sanitizer bottle because i always use it and it's in my car um so i use like a little travel sized um bottle it's like a spray bottle it's like literally like this small and kenny and i use this on a like a daily basis anyway but anywhere you go is dirty and Europe is dirty, especially. Um, so we just put some alcohol in, like literally, like um, straight alcohol in a bottle, and we just spray it on our hands if we like can't wash them, or like you know we're about to eat or something, or if like we touch something gross or whatever, um, we'll put sanitizer in there. Um, another helpful thing was Google Translate. That helps. That was a must. Um, I don't see, speak Spanish. Um, I don't speak Italian. I don't speak a lick of Greek. Um, French came in the clutch. The seven years I took French came in the clutch lots of times when we were in Belgium. Um, but like Google Translate is so awesome. Um, nowadays you're just speaking to your phone and it'll say exactly what you want or the person or vice versa the person says it in their language and then it translates like automatically. So. Um, another helpful thing that uh, was important that this is what you should do before you leave is to check up on your international plan. You do not want to rack up your international plan or, or your bill because you've been out, um, you know, out of the country and you're calling. So we have T-Mobile. We have like a military plan or whatever, but we switched over to an international plan just to make sure that we were good. Um, it. I will say like our, our phone bill was higher than normal um, but it wasn't like astronomical or anything um, so international plan so I'm gonna end this video with two things that I wish that I had brought that I didn't um, and that is a water bottle okay it is hot like it is freaking hot in Europe and it's dry hot it is so like so hot like my nose was dry it was just crazy um i'm from the south i am from south carolina or i live in south carolina where it's very humid so we're constantly thirsty like i'm not talking about like oh my god like i just need a drink of water i'm thirsty like deathly thirsty because the air is so dry and then it's hot on top of that so i wish that i bought brought like a collapsible water bottle that you could fill up um just to have around you because we were literally every time we like turned around we were trying to get um go to the gas station or not gas station but convenience store to get some water because it was so freaking hot and we're thirsty and we're obviously we're not used to like the environment that we were you know we were staying in for two weeks um and then like they just don't believe in ac like we do they they just don't it, it's real it's real you can have the biggest heat wave and be like oh my god i'm gonna walk into the store real quick because it's so hot no they do not believe in AC. They don't, they don't, they don't. It is lukewarm in every establishment you walk into. Wanna go try on some shoes in Nike store? Lukewarm. Wanna go try on some jewelry? Lukewarm. Wanna go get some ice cream? Lukewarm on a 100 degree day. No AC, none, none whatsoever. I wish I brought a water bottle. Uh, another thing I had a little fan this is like the one of the last thing I'm gonna say I had a little fan that I brought with me 
useless. I wish I had a spray, a spray fan, like you know, like the kind they have at Disney World, like but like a smaller portable one. I wish I had one. Um, and then one thing I did, I I would I wasn't gonna mention, but I just remembered a washcloth. Uh, Americans use washcloths. Europeans don't really use washcloths. I'm not gonna speak for all Europeans, um, but I use a washcloth. I need to get into a nooks and crannies. I don't know, like, I Googled it, and like I said, I don't wanna like trap people, like a whole entire like uh, group of people into one bubble, but I think I can speak for like the majority of them. Um, they don't use washcloths, it's very interesting. Um, I know when we, every hotel we went to, I would be like, dang, they use some big ass washcloths, and I'm, it's, it's not a washcloth, like they have their big towels, and then like have the towel, like a face towel, not what I consider a face towel, but like, you know, the towels that you like put your feet on in a hotel, um, they have those too, but they have like the thinner kind, like kind of like half a towel. I don't know if that makes sense. It's not like quite a big towel, but it's like half a towel. And I'm like, oh, so this is how, what they use, like these big towels. Um, and then I like went down to the front desk and I'm like, hi, do you have like a washcloth? And she gave, she handed over me to me and I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I mean like a small like towel. She was like, oh no, we don't have those. And that was everywhere. So I think I'll, I think a lot of the time, like Europeans just like use their hands or maybe a loofah or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. So I wish I brought a washcloth. Um, I could have sworn I brought one, but I probably threw it out of my bag because I um, thought it was gonna take up to the space. But, Anyways, those are my essentials. Those are the things that I wish I brought, um, the things that I thought was important to bring. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want me, want me to make a part two, I definitely will. Um, there's so many more things that I think will be helpful, some tips and tricks for you guys um, for your European travels. And honestly, like you can probably use those, these tips for anywhere. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, everything that I mentioned will be linked down below on my Amazon storefront. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.